So I'm Linda Gerber and I'm a special ed teacher at Bridgeport School and I've helped coordinate the Nutrition for Learning program here for five years. Um, I think one of the reasons that we run the program and it encourages me to continue um, is because of we have no needs in the school. We have kids who we know don't bring enough lunch or, or sometimes don't have a lunch or don't have breakfast and we, we know that they need food. Another example of a known need we have would be some of our Syrian refugees who came last year. We know that they are really struggling to make ends meet and need lots of help. And one way we can support in our school is our Nutrition for Learning program. Uh, we also have needs in our school that are unknown to us. So sort of the, the silent needs. And an example of one of those was a student we had actually helping out at our school. He was a high school student and the teacher he was working with noticed that he didn't bring his lunch to school and found out that he actually was staying with a friend because he was no longer uh, able to stay with his parents. And so she started bringing a lunch for him every day and then she came to me and asked if we would be able to help provide some food for him from our Nutrition for Learning program and of course the answer to that was absolutely. So again I was thankful that we have the program and there's many little instances that happen that I just I'll say to myself thank goodness we have Nutrition for Learning because it really does help out.